One of the distinguishing characteristics of African spells in America is the belief that one can influence and dominate a person through their feet, causing them all sorts of misfortunes. This famous shoe spell is useful to control someone, usually a man, but you can also try it if your goal is to dominate a woman. It is very simple. Write the name of the person nine times on a piece of paper, then fold it twice. There are those that say that anointing the paper with essential oils and powders gives more power to the spell. For this, you can use sunflower or jojoba oil and an herb powder like rosemary or cinnamon. Then put the slip in your left shoe. This ritual act puts the person at your feet so you gain control over this person, man or woman. Spells with shoes are closely linked to foot track magic a kind of witchcraft that focuses on footsteps, something commonly found in the hoodoo tradition. In this type of magic, it is believed that the roots, dirt, and dust can be magically charged in such a way that they enter the body through the feet, causing all sorts of consequences. People who have been victims of these foot spells or curses often feel that bad luck follows them for long periods of time. They can also feel a lack of mental clarity and pain in the feet and legs, resulting in an inability to walk on their own or having to crawl instead of walking. Some examples of foot witchcraft include the following spells. Bury your husband's shoes in the front yard with the toes pointed towards the door, and he will never leave you. If you carry a dime on the heel of your shoe, your enemies will not be able to cast spells or curses on you. Throwing a shoe after a person goes on a quest for some purpose grants them good luck on their journey. A shiny penny coin is usually placed on the left shoe of the bride to ensure a future of wealth and prosperity for the couple. To banish an enemy, the soil where the person has left his mark is picked up and it is mixed with cayenne pepper and usually other ingredients such as sulfur, black pepper, cemetery earth, blue stone, gunpowder, or salt. Different types of esoteric oils are usually sprayed on a person's shoes to achieve different effects depending on the type of oil and the intention. There are witches and sorcerers who keep the laces or shoes of old men and use them to practice knotted spells on the owners of those shoes. It is also common to find practitioners who often ask their clients for old socks with those who work on their altar. As you can see, shoes are common, everyday objects associated with various beliefs and practices in human culture. While there are many traditional uses for shoes in the practice of magic, there are also many practitioners who have learned to use them in highly personal ways to perform.